the Hall of American History, one of our des uh, primary design criteria was to make people feel like they were in the presence of history. And the way that we wanted to do that was to present our objects in a modern setting. Right off the bat, you are confronted with the Fred Wilson piece, which is a contemporary artist's interpretation of 18th century artifacts. Behind the Fred Wilson piece are the columns and we integrated imagery into those columns. And there we wanted to highlight our collection, the diversity of our collection, the breadth of our collection, presented in a contemporary way because of the long vertical format of it that we uh, you know, are cropping things in a different way. For instance, we might take one painting and show six different views of that painting or six different parts of that painting. We wanted to do something in the middle to uh, kind of liven up the space and, and give education an opportunity to, you know, explore the collections, use them in educational programs. And so we came up with this idea of um, floor cases and we were kind of viewed them as portholes into history because everything that is in the floor cases was found in the earth. And New York Historical Society was actually one of the first people to do urban archaeology. And so we created these portholes, and it's almost like you're looking through layers of history because history tends to you know, layer itself one upon the other. On the east wall of the hall, we have an exhibit about the founding of New York, the destruction of New York, New York's rising from the ashes, the birth of culture represented by this institution, which is the oldest institution in New York City. And opposite that, on the west wall, we put the 9-11 images, which is kind of our 21st century equivalent. We collected things uh, weeks after 9-11. Ken Jackson uh, decided to go out and collect these things to capture that moment in history and show that history literally is happening under your feet.